of things that, frankly, I don't believe have any credibility. Vandana mentioned iron filings chucked into the sea. Well, I don't think that's what actually... What does that do? A, well, the idea was you cause blooms of algae, which will then die, and as they dry, their bodies drop to the seabed, embed carbon, di carbon in the seabed and take it out and of the volcanoes? atmosphere. And volcanoes? What are they? Oh, uh, well, the volcanoes, the idea is big volcanoes, when they explode, um, put sulfur dioxide, large amounts of it, into the stratosphere, where it stays for a couple of years, because it doesn't rain up there, the, the particles stay, and they reflect enough sunlight to lower the temperature at the earth. Uh, and seeding the clouds? Seeding the clouds is make them more reflective, spray up some seawater into low-lying clouds, and they'll reflect a little bit more incoming sunlight than they did before. And what else? And lower the the temperature. The the other the other proposals I mentioned the you know paint the house roofs green or white, but I think that's probably a one-time solution. Um, there are. And other, I wouldn't object to yeah. that. No, I wouldn't. What color you paint, it doesn't really yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a, a new one that's come up recently. A fellow at Harvard um, suggested that you could actually. Uh, begin with rivers and reservoirs, but put rather micro microscopic scale bubbles into the water, which would whiten it. In other words, um, you know, it would reflect more sunlight than than normal dark water does, without actually changing the quality of the water. And as Juan asked, the corporations involved. In none of these cases so far are there corporations involved. This is coming out of the scientific community. Um, they're looking for the links with the, the, both the Pentagon, I think, and the scientific community, uh, and, and, and with corporate funding, but the, the initiatives are coming out of the scientific community. scientific community is scared and desperate. I mean, there's an undercurrent of panic in most of the, in the interviews that I held. Well, Van Dana Green's argument that there's just not enough time to talk about the people-oriented solutions you're talking about. Well, the first thing is, there's never enough time but you have to find the solutions. And to use the excuse of immediacy and urgency to take the wrong action is not a solution. Uh, in terms of time, we do organic farming. And again, in my book, Soil Not Oil, we've shown that a localized ecolo ecological biodiverse system of farming could solve 40% of the climate problem because 40% emissions are coming from food miles, nitrogen oxide emissions, uh, cutting down the Amazon forest, all linked to a globalized, industrialized food system. Tomorrow we can do that. In three years' time, all of the world's farming could be ecological, absorbing the carbon dioxide and putting fertility back in the soil. It's not a 50-year experiment. It's an assured, guaranteed a uh, path that has been shown to work, and it does three things for you. It reduces emissions while increasing food security and food productivity, and increasing water security, because soils rich in carbon and organic matter are the best reservoir You're of water. But I want to just mention, actually, there's just as there are a group of scientists who are panicking because of their reductionist approach, I'm a scientist. The reason I do ecology today is because I realized science was just shrinking in terms of the knowledge an individual gets in a particular stream. And so many of the narrow expertise is where you're getting this panic because they don't know there are other solutions. I'd love to take some of your gen gen geoengineering friends from the scientific community to our farm to show here's a solution that works in the short run, in the immediate run. But I there is think, an organized I movement now. I want to mention this. Yes. There's okay. a movement yes. against geoengineering called HOME, Hands Off Mother Earth. Citizens telling irresponsible scientists, arrogant in their power, hands off Mother Earth. Look, your solutions are good. They will work. And if you were the dictator of the world and could impose... Which I would never be. No, but Which let I me finish. Let me finish. If you were the dictator of the we world and seconds. could change land ownership patterns in the United States like that, you could have it all done in three years. It'll you happen. can't do that. No, it not will Not in happen. three years, not the in 30. The young people will. They're ready to make change. We will leave it there. Vandana Shiva, uh, her books, well, among them, Soil, Not Oil, and Gwyn Dyer, Climate Wars, The Fight for Survival as the World Overheats. That does it for a broadcast. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Our website is democracynow.org. Thanks for joining us.